something new for me. Cosmetic neurology and neurotransmitter rundown. So what is that all about? This video is sponsored by Mizumi, the number one pick for men on TRT. Shop now at Mizumi's using the link in the description of this video. Yeah, so the whole idea around um, cosmetic neurology is based upon the principle that um, we can hijack our neurotransmitter system, so our brain chemistry, to basically suit our needs for whatever the occasion. So the way I look at it is like this. Let's just say, for example, somebody has a talk or maybe they're presenting a topic to, a, to an audience and they might get a bit of, um, I don't know, a little bit of anxiety or you know, lack a bit of confidence, then the whole premise behind cosmetic neurology is to work on the specific neurotransmitters that will improve performance in that realm, in that particular context. So in this situation, we want to be, you know, boosting GABA because GABA is the calming, inhibitory, anti-anxiety neurotransmitter. We want to be, you know, supporting acetylcholine production, which is going to help with verbal fluency, and the ability to sort of connect ideas. Um, and then we sort of want to modulate other neurotransmitter systems. So we want to be lowering uh, norepinephrine or noradrenaline. We want to lower cortisol. We want to lower adrenaline. Um, and so the whole premise there is just to really manipulate uh, the neurotransmitters. Yeah, sounds good. But how does that work practical? Well, the whole premise here is um, given that, you know, we know certain nootropics can target these particular neurotransmitters, that's when we can really apply them and, you know, use them pre-events to, um, you know, cater for, you know, what's ahead. Um, so, you know, it might be a combination of two grams of, of um, taurine, which has that GABA promotion effect. And then maybe, you know, uh, 1000 milligrams of, let's say, phenylalanine, and then maybe a small amount of bromantane, and that's going to give you that social confidence effect. Okay. Um, I take GABA every evening before bed. Uh, that's also a, a calming um, agent. But is that to be recommended before the talk? Uh, people aren't going to get sleepy from that? Well, GABA, yeah, GABA is um, it, at a high dose can induce sleep and make someone relaxed. Um, um, you know, at a very low dose, it can give you that um, anti-anxiety effect. But taurine, without promoting sleep too much, can work really well to reduce anxiety. If someone wants to give a talk and is anxious, as in your um, example, what should they do? Uh, what to take specifically? How to go about it? Yeah. So when it comes to like um, giving a you know giving a talk or you know feeling confident and and your the ability to sort of back yourself and speak eloquently and improve verbal fluency. Basically, what we want to do is strengthen the neurotransmitter systems that govern things like verbal fluency. And we also want to be working on suppressing glutamate because glutamate is that neurotransmitter that can make us overthink and sort of make us feel too stuck in our own head. And that's obviously not something we want when we're you know, giving a talk. Um, and so we want to be suppressing glutamate improving GABA tone, increasing acetylcholine, um, and also supporting dopamine because that's what gives us that um, confidence as well. Mm -hmm. And can one just take it the day itself for the talk or does it have to be prepared a few days in advance? Yeah, it's a good question. So um, some nootropics have a, have a powerful acute effect so they can work very you know, immediately in the short term. Um, so, you know, in this particular occasion, we can, you know, curate a stack that maybe can be used about 45 minutes to one hour before the event. Um, and that way it'll sort of last, you know, three to four hours or so. Okay, that's clear. Thanks, Lucas. You can buy my workout programs as well as other merchandise in my webshop. Link in the description under this video.